Uh, what's new? Just finished a thing called Blood on the Highway. Uh, I think they wrapped that mid-September. I did it at the beginning of September. That's due out soon. I think they're going to put up a trailer on MySpace. I'm not absolutely sure. I've been running like crazy getting ready to come down to uh, Worcester to do this. So I haven't kept up with it. But that's the most recent thing. Uh, what's in the future? Who knows? It's the future. It's not guaranteed. Nothing is like Oh my god. <laughs> well, tell me about Blood on the Highway. Who do you play? Which character like? What's the movie about? You know, the hard thing for me is to remember my character's name after I finish the movie. It like it disappears. You disassociate yourself immediately. Wow, that's you know, not many people can do that. It's it's important to do it. Otherwise, you start thinking. Okay, so you were saying you can disassociate yourself from your character. I, yeah, I, I disassociate myself from the entire project. Once it's over, you know, uh, I, reassociate, I reassociate myself uh, depending on when the paycheck arrives and then disassociate myself as soon as it's in the bank. I mean, this is not entirely that mercenary. It's just a way of saving my mind from abuse because you can't go over these things over and over again. Uh, but I had a great, I know I had a great time doing it, that much I remember. And I know that the script, which was one of the funniest things I've ever read, was what got me to do it. Because it's not a huge budgeted picture, but the script was killing me. So, you know, Blood on the Highway, it should be an interesting thing. Look for it. So what kind of character do you play? I play a old-time Southern lawyer who has been turned into a vampire in what is a very conservative Texas community. So it's the sort of reactionary vampires who are fighting to get rid of an element of uh, resistance in their community. They're happy to be vampires, but there's this one element, and he's a radical, insane person to begin with. So. Are you filming? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just standing oh, here talking. What are you talking about? I'm going to go on the other side of the curtain. Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, oh. I, those moments, I'm sorry. I, it, it may be the medication. Uh, it just, they, it, things seem to go blank for a while and it extends to electronic devices as well. It's okay. Okay, so we're talking about Blood on the Highway and your character play, a vampire, southern lawyer. Southern lawyer uh, who incites the community to bring down this evil element of prurience and decadence that's infesting their community and trying to kill everybody. So that's what that is about. Uh, and that's all I can remember right now. Because you've disassociated yourself. Oh, no. Since 1975, <laughs> things have just been really thin sometimes, you know. There's not a lot of connections that work. And the ones that do basically focus on trying to remember my lines, not bump into the furniture, or soil myself publicly. So, uh, having accomplished that, I feel it's a good day. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes. What about number 27? Oh, Dog Day Afternoon. Yes. That was actually my uh, my very first movie role. I was an extra on Dog Day Afternoon. We shot it in Brooklyn in New York in November. Of, God, I can't even remember the year now. Uh, talk about disassociating. Oh, yeah. I remember being there. But it was like... <laughs> Oh! Woo! <laughs> did I... Did I... No, I didn't... Sorry. That's good. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Brooklyn, New York, November, Dog Day Afternoon, Al Pacino, uh, Lance Henriksen, uh, John Casal. Uh, who else? Oh, a bunch of... bunch of people. Chris, oh, that's right. Chris Sarandon as the girlfriend. Boyfriend. The friend. The friend. The sort... The reason for the motivation for the robbery. I, I want my boyfriend to have the surgery. 
but it was a great movie. It was a great movie. The thing that I love about it is the fact that it's literally mid-November in New York. It's sunny, it's bright, it's freezing cold, but it's supposed to be August. So every time the camera turned on the crowd, there's like this pre-moment, so, all right, everybody, we're getting ready to shoot, and everybody has to ditch their coats. And there's this huge pile of coats behind the crowd. Literally, I mean, it's like waist high for the entire length of the crowd. And then when they shoot, everybody's going, Attica, Attica, you know, and trying not to have their breath show because it's August, dog day. And uh, that, to me, was the most favorite thing of all, that movie magic. People will suffer in terminable events, horrible things, to be in the movies. One of them, for me, is being excessively cold. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. So how many of these uh, horror conventions are you doing? Uh, I don't know. It depends on the one. Is this, this, is, this is number one. This is my okay. very first one. Excellent. And if Mine anyone... Too. This is like cosmic, man. Okay, we're both being cherried on the horror circuit. That's so special. <laughs> Oh, oh, it was good. And it's on camera. And it's not messy. <laughs> I, did, I, I didn't soil myself. That's okay. Uh, no, it's not really, not really messy. There's no sticky fluids. No fear of things that may need penicillin. Uh, one more. And it's pleasant. I'm having a good time. I met a bunch of crazy people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So nice. The fact that he agrees with it scares me. <laughs> hey, I'll agree to anything. So do you want to do think... more of this stuff? Uh, sure. You know, I have nothing against it. I'm enjoying myself immensely. The, the, it reaches a point where it's a little tedious and difficult to get through the long day. Right. You know, the long day is like, there's a point at which, oh my god, three hours to go. <laughs> Oh, and then you look at your watch again. Oh my God! It's only been ten minutes, and it seems like it, time stands still, literally in a bad way. You know, it's not like oh my heart sang, time stood still. It's like no, I just I feel constipated and nothing's moving. It's amazing how there's a repetition of bodily fluids and function. It is a horror convention. Yes, as some expulsion of something. Hmm. I wonder. Is there anything else that you Uh. Pause. The final Q&A session. Build allies. All of our teams might have really spent the heads of us. Will you turn the fucking thing off? Welcome back. Oh. Oh, my. Time travel is a bitch. I think. I think I may have to talk to my doctor about adjusting my medication. <laughs> Those little spaces are getting longer and longer. You don't experience it out there, but I do. <laughs> I do. Anything else you want your fans to know about or you want to say to them? I love you all. Y'all, I just love you, man. I love you so much. <laughs> Sally Field at the auction. Can you give it to me? <laughs> You do care about me. You like me. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm good. That was wonderful.